it could potentially still be good because you know the ten of one ten of swords talks about the worst being over you can't get any worse than that now your underlying energy is the ace of pentacles and you have the ten of excuse me the wheel of fortune coming up that's a new opportunity you had a second chance and this is something that you can actually that can potentially get you to a place of stability support and security something that's going that can last you a long time again guys remember aces are potentials whatever you do with this new beginning is up to you now considering that this is going in the direction of something that's long term that's something that's definitely towards commitment potentially it makes sense that the ten of swords is coming up as hard as reading like this because it talks about something hitting rock bottom that worst of the worst you can't get any worse than this and it's crazy you have the tower coming back up again but the situation is this it can't get any worse than it has right the worst is over situations hit the bottom but you experience some, some something very devastating it could be it could have been a change this, this change has happened has come the tower that we saw earlier that's, that's in this reading now or it could be that this ten of swords is that no you know the worst has already come but this the, the situation that's keeping you from being able to recover to move forward is this this doubt it's not necessarily worry but it's definitely doubt whether or not this is something you can move on from this is something you commit to if you have if you want to put the effort into something this is definitely a test of whether or not you, you know, this is a definite test of whether or not you want to do something. If this is something you truly want enough of or not. You know what I mean? Like if this is something that you truly want to do, this is something that you want to invest in time, invest in. If this is something you truly want to invest in, this is your, this is the situation that's coming up, right? It, and it's understandable because you hit a really bad place. You know, you went and experienced something really badly, but it doesn't have to always be this way. And that shouldn't be the deciding factor whether to involve, to get involved with something or not, whether it's going to fail. Cause I feel like that's the perpetual look of it. Like, is it going to fail? Is it worth the effort that I, that's needed to push forward? You've come so long, you come such a far away. Sevens are already a big space, especially when it comes to Pentacles energy. Pentacles energy is slow anyway. So to go up to seven, that means you worked a lot. You've been through a lot with this energy anyway. And I understand starting from scratch can be very devastating, but I think this is giving you the opportunity to start fresh, to start new with the understanding that you've gone through some situations very similar to this already that you can utilize to help you move forward, move into the direction that you've been wanting to since the very beginning. Now in the past, you have the temperance card coming up, which talks about patience, waiting. In temperance, temperance is definitely all about patience because you have to keep doing what you're doing, maintaining yourself, making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. While the, the, the divine timing, divine energy does what it does, right? The mystery universe works in very mysterious ways, but it's very simple. You focus on the now, you focus on the present, things will move, things will make progress. The more you focus on it and look at it grow, the longer it will take, the longer it'll, it'll seem. And I feel like you have been taking care of yourself. You've been just doing yourself, doing the best that you could with what you got, handling your own situation, taking care of all things that matters to you and regarding to you and you personally. And that patience has brought you this person. Two of Cups. You've met someone. Now, I think you guys are connecting because you feel the same way about each other. But this doubt whether to put effort into it, of course, because you have to start from the very beginning. Now, this could be someone that you already know. This could be someone that you know, but know completely different. Like, it starts from scratch. This person is... You know, if this is a brand new individual you have no history with, or you had history with, but this is a brand new person still. You know probably who this person is, but you know that they are not the same person that they that happened here. You're starting from the very ground up. You're starting from the ground up. You have no idea who this person is. Even if you did have history, even if you 
you know, you've gone out a couple of times and you've dated yourself several times. This is still, this, this person have, has changed. This person is not the same individual. You have to discover and learn who they are now, not who they were. You're not learning who they were. If this is an ex, this could be a very brand new individual. Even then, I still feel like for some of you guys, you're not, you're questioning whether or not this is something you really want to actually put time and, and energy into. Is it going to actually get you towards this ability that you're looking for? Which is totally, like I said, totally understandable with, with the Ten of Swords. But it can blossom into the lovers. I feel like where you guys are now with how you feel about this person, you can sense the deeper connection that's just dying to initiate, that's dying to, to, you know, to get even deeper. But it's the hesitance that's keeping you from doing that. You want to actually see a future before you even move forward with this individual. But that doesn't mean that they, there can't be a future at all because you don't see it yet. And especially if you're living in the moment, you can, you know, there's rest assured, there's going to be times where, you know, you may feel like you're in over your head, but this is the moment that we're talking about. It doesn't matter what the future looks like because you make the, the future happen. Now, don't get me wrong. This could be indicating here that you guys have already started talking about plans and you're not necessarily sure you're, you're 100% into that. You're not sure if you can jump in 100% because of the Ten of Swords. Because you've gone through something terrible. You don't think that you, either you don't think or maybe there's just or maybe this other person does not feel 100% confident in them going in. And committing fully to building a relationship because of what they've experienced. But like I said, the lovers is in this reading. Two cards that indicate soulmates. And then you have the three of pentacles in your external energy that really goes along with the present. You've already started to see a future with this individual probably. You guys have already even started to think of the future together and what that would look like. Based off of who you are now. And how they who they are. Whatever happened here with this Ten of Swords, you're not the same individual. You can't be. You can't even go back if you wanted to, because it wouldn't even feel right. So it makes sense to see this opportunity as something that you may not want to jump into because the old you's ways of doing things is kind of creeping up. But that's why the tower is your goal and ambition and your advice. The time is now to change, to do things that are differently. Or to do things differently, rather. Why do I say that? Because you're not the same person that's going into a relationship. You have it had experience with this in the past. Some of it may not have gone very well, obviously, with the Ten of Swords here. But you do have more experience. You have changed quite a bit. But you, more so than anything, you have more knowledge and awareness about yourself, about relationships to make for yourself, relationships for yourself, not relationships in general, but relationships for yourself to make a relationship work for you. That's why I see the Ten of Cups here is like, this is a happily ever after, emotional success, emotional happiness, harmony, balance. I don't see this as, thing, as something bad. I see this as something really nice. Something that's successful in emotion in the emotional plane. Something that makes you feel good. Because you know where you're going. You know who you are. You're very much you're much you're very much aware of what's changed. What you can't go back to. What's gone, it's gone. But that doesn't mean that the future is is in increatable. It's uncreatable, or you can't create the future. So I get it, I get it, but you've got something beautiful that can potentially work out for you. It's up to you, of course, to make this opportunity to take, take action now or to let it fly. It's up to you, but this Ten of Cups in your future with the lovers, that's a beautiful combination. That's a beautiful pairing that reaps of success. They reaps of happiness, emotional happiness. 
and you might find that it was worth the effort to go through it or you know it was worth the effort to reject it it's up to you but i'm still gonna pull you guys romance angels cards for the next couple weeks considering that you guys have two soulmates cards anyway let me go see what you guys got going on mm. Honeymoon, that's beautiful. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. It's talking about getting a getaway. It talks about enjoying the moment and being in the moment and just enjoying what you've got going on right now. Like I was saying before, I don't think you guys are necessarily planning the future right now. You could be, but a lot of your focus is in the moment, which is why you have doubts whether or not you can move forward because there, you don't know if, you, if you're trying to see a future. But you feel something for this person. It's, it's definitely there. And it's okay to just enjoy it. It's, the, it's Venus retrograde. And by the time this video, you know, the week, the, double, the weekly ends before I make another one, we're still going to be in Venus retrograde. You don't have to make a decision quite yet to commit to this person, to commit to making a future. You can just enjoy the moment. But don't let this doubt keep you, make, you know, make, you know, don't make, let this ten of swords make the decisions for you. That's pretty much what I feel like this reading is trying to say. Even though something may have been just unfortunate in the, you know, in your life. Don't let that be the dictator of how your future relationships will be. Let the new you that came from that, this, that came from this, this devastation be the deciding factor. Wow. Know your fears. Know your power. Excuse me. Know your power. Yes, I love that. Know your power, guys. That's what the Ten of Swords is all about. You may hit the worst of the worst, the low of the low. But it's not about how hard we hit the ground. It's about how it's about how we get up. How we patch ourselves up from the ground and get back on the horse. I'm going to read you the affirmation like I always do. Because I love it. All right, know your power, guys. You have choice in all things. Your power is born of that of freedom, or born of um, or of that freedom to choose. But with that freedom comes the burden of responsibility. To know your power, you must accept responsibility for your part in all your experience, even when all you all you allow another to impose their choice or will upon you. So let me pretty much that means like, you know. <sighs> No matter, even though the situation that was devastating, understand that your power, your part, your, your your part in in this energy being the way it was, is still a reflection of your a power in that situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, like what it says here it says, um. Uh, to know your power, you must accept responsibility for your part in all you experience. Even when you allow another to impose their choice or will upon you. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to take and a little bit harsh, especially for those of you that have been victimized in ways that, you know, there's definitely imposing force. And that's something that you can't truly control, control. But it's to understand the as full facet of your power, not to blame you. This is not about blame. This is not about any of this. Yes, it's talking about taking accountability, but only to recognize your power, never to blame, never to make you feel like, oh, you should have let, you should never let this happen to you, or you should have known better. No, this is about you being aware of how strong and powerful you actually are, Taurus. You have the power to choose if you wear a saddle or a bridle, and if another will ride upon your back. Own your power, know it, and see it in all of your choices and actions. And that's what this is all about. The Seven of Pentacles. Do you, the, the doubt of whether or not it's worth the effort or the time. That's for you to decide, but you have the control, you have the power, you have everything that you need to make this potential a reality. It's a pentacle for a reason. Pentacles are reality. You have the opportunity to make this a reality. But you have to take it that far. You have to make this change. 
You have to take that action.